Welcome to Garage 23. And this is our 2005 bootleg budget Nissan Titan. I picked this up for about 1100 bucks and we, we basically traded our Pathfinder for it and I'm trying not to regret that decision because it's kind of a heap <laughs> and there's a lot to do. So far we've... <laughs> I don't know what you did to this thing. You put an engine in an optimal battery and it now runs. <laughs> yeah. But stay tuned because today we're going to fix the grill, headlight, wheel bearing, and the side mirrors. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the wheel bearing since we already got the wheel off. Um, wheel bearing makes a lot of noise and typically your wheel shouldn't sound like this. So it's a pretty good indicator that our wheel bearing is shot. Probably because this thing had two double stack spacers on it. Actually three, there's two bolt on and one slip on spacer. So primarily gonna get rid of these spacers and just put the wheels back on like normal, but we need to replace the wheel bearing before that. I also think it's weird that the wheel bearings that they use are literally the same as the four wheel drive one because it has the splines and the pass through for the axle. Like I thought wheel bearings needed the axle there to hold it together. Yeah, you would think, but. Does that mean you'll be uh, converting this to four wheel drive in the future? Probably yeah. not. Aww. I was thinking of unconverting the Pathfinder to two wheel drive, so. <laughs> Just for the sake of simplicity. I mean, look at all the room we have to like do stuff down there. I mean, technically you did by getting a Titan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, let me get the brake caliper off. Do you need, I got already? Mm, I don't know. So I wonder if I can just get the iPad back here anyway. You just want to get you a socket or something, or a wrench, or... Oh. There you go. Nice. I can't reach. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't, I can't reach. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too short. Wank. <laughs> eh. Uh, I did not move a whole lot. <laughs> okay, first thing we gotta be extra careful of is to remove our ABS sensor. And that's gonna be a T5 socket. That's a healthy layer of mud. Yeah. We're just gonna get this out of the way for now. There we go, right, kids. Right. With enough leverage, you can move the world. I'm just like, please don't be stirred. These don't feel like they're rotating very smoothly. That's not good. I'm like, it's three bolts. How hard of a job could it be? <laughs> oh, they had Loctite on them. You know what, you should just do that, just for 45 minutes straight. <sighs> pry bar? Yeah, no pry bar. <laughs> doctor? Uh, doctor, doctor. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for next episode when we put the wheel bearing on. Yeah, you can give this a little wipe down with some 60 grit. Oh. This goes this way because that's where the ABS sensor goes. Hey, is this the part that we got at that junkyard that one time? Yes. How much did you get it for? Don't remember. <laughs> It was from Pull and Save's premium yard, so it was even more of a price than usual. Oh, wow. Premium. Man, you guys are coming up in the world. <laughs> Man, look at that premium fitment. <laughs> premium pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't need to use the hammer. It's obviously premium. <laughs> At least not yet. Still not sure if this is a 19, actually. Hmm? Like, it feels kind of sloppy for a 19. Do you want me to get the... Like what else would it be though? 18? Oh wow, it's an 18. Wow. 
squeeze is 18. Let's not punch the wheel bearing if my hand slips. Real quick, why is one stud shorter than the rest? Because it's broken. Oh. And this is when Red's audio goes out. Actually, probably should replace that before we install this, but. <laughs> nice. It just looks like the rotor doesn't match with the hub. These hubs aren't the same. Isn't that one off the Arbata? Yeah. God damn it. Well, the hub size from the Armada and the Titan is like what? Half a mil or a millimeter off? No, that's like five mil. So are you going to use your lathe and try to turn them down? <laughs> I'm literally trying to think of a way to do that. I don't think we can. Why would they change the hub size? Is the spline inside different too, or is that pretty spot on? I can't tell, but it looks similar. Mm -hmm. So, the hubs that Red got from the premium junkyard is, from, is off of a 2009 Armada. Um, as we just learned, after replacing the hub, the Armada hub is slightly bigger than the old Titan hub that was on there, which means we can't put the rotors on uh, since the diameter of the rotors inside is smaller than the Armada. Yeah. So while Red works on that, let's go ahead and tackle the headlights while he wallows in his decisions. Remember kids, eye protection, not just to see but to protect yourself from cutting copper. Ow! God, you can't Ooh. I think this is like the first time on the channel I'm actually doing something and not just handing red stuff. So it looks like to take off this headlight, we have one, two bolts so far. Two bolts. Come on, Milwaukee Chan, let's do work. Put my gut against it so it doesn't fall. Yeah, there we go. Man, that's crummy. This thing seriously did some desert running back in the day. I don't know what it was doing in the desert, but it was definitely doing something in the desert, suspicious. I know that's a twist and a pop. And is this? Oh, nice. Is this a twist and a pop too? No, this should just be a That's not a LED. Oh. oh, I didn't realize there was like a lead there. Okay, or you can just take the lead out and deal with this off camera. <laughs> so we're not putting it on now. We're not putting this one on right now. We're not putting the headlight on right now. We're not putting the headlight on right now. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm new. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this for the rest of the season. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. Put it down, <laughs> now. We need to change the fenders out before that. And then Why? To get the fenders off, we need to get the hood off. Because the hood is secured in between the fenders. I would say I'd hold the hood up, but I can barely reach it. <laughs> Seriously? My gosh. I mean, I know it's Sunday. Oh, you know what? This is already loosened. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Oh, it's like that Fast and Furious part yeah. where they're like they're doing engine swaps and they're like have like that cinematic B-roll. Throw it. Throw it. One, two, three. Into the neighbor. Wait, where am I throwing it? The Kylo's there though. <laughs> Damn it, dog. Kylo, come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. <laughs> This doesn't look terrible. No. There's two bolts right here. And a little retaining thing here. Yeah, I just need to unclip these guys. 
You just stick it in there and it pops right out. Let's see. And then the rest should be tens. I love how nothing is bolted down on this truck except for the wheel hub. <laughs> Secret tunnels. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's this thing too. It's stuck to the antenna. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, good idea. Good idea. Why is it so dirty? <laughs> Goodness. Other side now? Yeah. Should I throw this out in the yard? Yes. Do you like a one tool challenge? <laughs> and you can only use the big hammer. Oh my God. <laughs> How to remove a 10 millimeter bolt. Yes. With a sledgehammer. 500 likes. And then they will do a video with a one tool challenge using a big hammer only. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna need a sledgehammer. <laughs> do you want the pry bar too? Uh, maybe. Ow. Oh, that's what happened. Hmm. There's another 10 millimeter bolt, but it's like... Totally. <clears throat> It was completely rusted off the frame on that side, and it was oh gosh, like ninety percent off on this side. Power. Hey. I guess we should do the side mirrors next. I was just thinking to we need to remove that spacer still, but we can't really lift that this side up if we can't put that side down. So, kind of stuck for now. Uh, yeah, let's do the mirrors. Okay. So these are the new mirrors that we got. And they just happen to be chrome. I, did, I didn't really think of it at the time, but it's kind of nice that they're gonna match the patrol's mirrors because the patrol has chrome mirrors. And Jesus, that glare is intense. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these actually have a mirror. Eh? And these don't. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's take them off. Oh, they, I do not want them to fall into the door thingy. There's a little, they're all oh, coming it's like out. a little clip thingy, isn't it? Is there? Yeah, violence always solves the answer. So we're gonna feed this harness down into the great abyss, never to be seen again. Oh, it's nice, that little Christmas tree clip just kind of holds it there. And I just crossed it at him. And that's fine. <laughs> I wish I was skinny and I wish I could do that. Red does impossible things. Oof. Up, up a lot. There, into the out, outward. Too much. Perfect. Actually, probably down one. Yeah, it looks angled pretty high. I'd probably say like that. Yay. Wow, that really wakes it up a bit. Ooh. I know, it's like the nice thing about these side mirrors, you have a mirror on the front and the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Walking by before you get any check, check for boogers. Yep. Done. Or if you're running a delivery service, you want to make sure you can see if anyone's trying to run up on you. <laughs> yes, that works too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I think, I think we managed to save this <laughs> without spending any money anyway. So this rotor barely clears our ways here on the lathe. It's not secured exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, the outer edge of these jaws isn't meant to really grab anything, but crank it down a little more and it seemed okay. And it, it worked all right. It was just a little scary, but wasn't too bad. I managed to get most of the material shaved away. So the issue is the older Titans and Armadas have a, they have the same hub diameter for wheels, 
but as far as the brake rotors go, it's a different size. So on the older ones, it's 80, I forgot to even measure. I think it was 80, 86 or something. And on the newer ones, the diameter for the hub on the rotor is um, 90. So it's quite a big jump, but I, I think I got this about where it needs to be. So we could go test fit. All right. So the only issue was I wasn't able to get all the way up to the edge just because the jaws were literally sitting right on the, the back face of this. So we're still gonna have to hit this with like a die grinder or something of that sort. But the outer diameter on the part that I was able to machine should fit now. Oh yeah. See that that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> so as you can see our, our inner diameter there is just absolutely spot on now. But the rotor doesn't go that way, it goes this way. As you can see, it, it still doesn't quite seat that way. So we just need to grind down that little lip on the back edge and we should be good. There we go, that's good enough. Okay, now we can put our wheel back on. Actually, no, we can put our brakes back together. <laughs> that's kind of important. Now we can put our wheel back on. So pro tip for putting big wheels on is get in this position. Get on the ground with your legs spread out and use your legs against your hands as like leverage. And then hey, you have more control with trying to lift with your legs as opposed to just your arms. Like that. All right, well, Joey had to go tend to his potatoes. So I think we're gonna have to finish this up on our own. Now we can go ahead and I move the truck forward a bit now that we have the wheels back on and the stupid spacers removed. So that's awesome. And now we can open the door and actually get our Mirror uninstalled. Trash. Now we thread this harness down here into nowhere. All right, now we can drive safely. <laughs> All right, now to put on our shiny new front end, the first of which is the fenders because the hood strut thingies attach to a mount that goes on top of the fender. So the fenders need to go on first. Small 10 mil in here. There's a 10 mil that's supposed to be in the middle here somewhere, but uh, it actually rusted off on both sides. So yeah, we're kind of out of luck on that middle mounting point. I might end up welding something there later on, but for now I'm not worrying about it. But there's a 10 mil down at the very bottom. Okay, so it's fender number one, more or less in place. piece of the puzzle. Front bumper. I 
Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. Finally got the front end more or less looking like a truck again. Still a little ugly, but it's definitely better than it was. So it's gonna do it for this week. Come back next week when we hopefully finally get to start on the interior. God knows that needs a whole lot of work too. So see you guys next time. Remember, always do your best. できなかった人はちゃんと復習するようにね。そう。うん、分かりました。すみません。はい、そうですね。いい。今日はタイタンが作業します。ポテト。ポテトね。ポテト。はい。はい、ポテトすごいですね。Good boy. Look at look at the all